Now, to our viewers, we have to tell you that according to the top intel sources, CNN News 18 is reporting that Gurpat Man Singh sabotage the peace in the place where the Ayodhya event will be going on. We have CNN News 18, Siddhan Mishra joining us live on the broadcast. Siddhan, give us more details about this. Well, that's right. This is what uh, Manoj Gupta is uh, bringing for our viewers ahead of Pran Pratishtha in Ayodhya. In fact, uh, India's most wanted Guru Patwan Singh Pannu have been issuing uh, threats, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, since uh, last one month. Uh, and this time around, what Manoj Gupta is bringing for us is an interception uh, that has been accessed by uh, CNN News 18. And perhaps in this audio interception, um, he could be heard talking about or perhaps issuing some sort of a directions to his people to do some action in Lucknow. In fact, he is uh, he could be heard saying, as per the audio clip that has been provided to us, he could be heard saying that uh, uh, some action needs to be done in Lucknow and other places, uh, other places, uh, so that it can disrupt or create some sort of a communal disharmony and uh, and and tensions in the in the area. Now, what actions he is referring to? Uh, the agencies are trying to decode that, but this is uh, something which Manoj Gupta is telling us that an audio has been intercepted and CNN News 18 has managed to access uh, that audio <coughs> clipping. In fact, Guru Patwan Singh Pannu is India's most wanted. There's a dossier that has also been shared with the countries from where he operates. Uh, time and again, India has, uh, our agencies have taken action against his people and his uh, associates in uh, in India but if you remember during the farm protest and even otherwise also each time around he comes up with a threat uh, warning uh, a warning uh, you know to do some sort of a damage or create tension or communal disharmony in India by by releasing video messages and you know and 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 and, uh, and hateful sermons but this time around this is an interception it is not some message that has come from his uh, from his social media handle it's an interception which uh, agencies are trying trying to decode and perhaps they are on it. In fact, uh, a few days back, uh, there were reports that some three individuals have also been nabbed by UP ATS. Uh, and in fact, the interrogation was going on. They apparently had some links with gangsters sitting abroad. So uh, right now, the intel agencies are on high alert given uh, uh, the Pran Pratishthan, which is going to take place in Ayodhya uh, tomorrow, the highest level of security protocols have been put in place. In fact, if I talk about the security in Ayodhya, then 10,000 CCTV cameras, AI technology is being used to right. recognize the face of the criminals and the suspicious uh, people. ATS commandos are on ground. The entire Ayodhya has been, uh, uh, has been uh, turned into a cantonment. Right. Uh, as far as the security arrangements are concerned. So the security uh, 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 is, is tight here in Ayodhya and in fact in other parts of the country because there are high chances right. that uh, anti-social elements like Guru Patpan Singh Pannu could create some sort of a trouble uh, to, to create problems or tensions in the society. Back to right, Sadan. Thank you so much for walking us through all those crucial details as far as this threat coming in from Guru Patpan Singh Pannu according to the reports that CNN News 18 has uh, received. But Sadan, coming back to you, uh, could you tell us more about the armed up security in Lucknow specifically because this threat has been issued for Lucknow? Well, yes, that's right. In fact, the whole of Uttar Pradesh, uh, Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath was in Ayodhya. He is speaking to the senior officials of UP police every day. UP police is also coordinating with the other state police forces, the bordering uh, state police forces. Uh, they are also speaking to the security uh, set up in uh, Delhi as far as this entire Pran Pratishthan uh, ceremony is concerned. In fact, a lot of VIPs are going to come to Ayodhya. Prime Minister himself is going to be here. Though, So every, uh, every uh, day there is a security security review of uh, how uh, uh, the arrangements are going to uh, take place in Ayodhya and otherwise uh, and in fact in other parts of the state because Ayodhya could be tough for these anti-social um, anti-India elements but as far as the other parts are concerned they could use an opportunity to uh, to sort of destabilize uh, stabilize some uh, procession passing by or they can also create trouble uh, 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 in some other city of India and this particular threat uh, uh, threat alert 
is for that that it's not just about ayodhya but they could do they could create uh, tensions uh, they could deliberately do some actions in the other parts of the country also to sort of uh, 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 get media light and and you know create uh, attention so that is something which the intelligences uh, know in fact there are multiple alerts that have been issued both by ib and the other uh, intelligence agencies uh, as far as uh, this pran pratishtha ceremony is concerned uh, all all protocols are being followed in ayodhya and the other states of uh, other cities of uttar pradesh and in fact the whole of india uh, precautions are being taken in the sensitive places uh, uh, this is what police is telling us uh, that uh, uh, the locals have uh, have been in, uh, have been roped in uh, to uh, to uh, to uh, to sort of uh, keep uh, the event so that event goes peaceful so that one exercise is also uh, going on right now uh, as we were talking about ayodhya 10000 cctvs ai enabled cctvs anti mining anti mine drones have also been uh, will be used there are there is a proper jammer system uh, that uh, that we could see across ayodhya that have been installed so all level uh, precautions are being taken uh, the ats uh, forces crpf jawans have been uh, have been extra forces have been sent to ayodhya then there is going to be the jawans on the boats in the river saryu to guard the uh, river route uh, uh, which comes to ayodhya so that is also one thing which uh, we would get to see uh, tomorrow because the, that route uh, from Gonda could also be used by anti-social uh, elements. Back to you. Right, Sadan. Thank you so much for walking us through all those crucial details. Right.